Hello guys, in today's lecture we are going to talk about DNA packaging. It is a very interesting topic. So we all know that the length of DNA is 2.2 meter. This is not a rough length, but we all know the between two base pair, the diameter between two base pair is 3.4 angstrom. So, in specially mammalian human genome, 3 billion bases are there. So, by calculating this, the overall length we found is 2.2 meter. So this type of long thread is can't be packed inside the microscopic cell less than micrometer. So it is a very crucial thing that thread is must be packed inside the cell. Cell inside the special nucleus. So it must be packed. So the DNA packaging will be learned. So the scientist name Woodock or Woodock is suggested that in the single chromatin he found the thickening structure like that in a microscope not a visibly but he found that some big structure are there in the chromatin because Two chromatin made of the chromosome. The 23 pair of chromosome are present inside the human genome. The actually the thickening he saw it is a nucleosome. The nucleosome actually the term nucleosome was given by out of this scent is given the actual name nucleosome. Now, nucleosome is made up of two things the DNA plus histone protein. The DNA is two type linker DNA, and second one is core DNA. The core DNA is take part in the wrapping while the linker DNA links two nucleosomes. So first, let's start with the histone protein. Histone protein is rich in two mostly amino acid, which is lysine and arginine. These two amino acid give the histone positive charge. And it is a basic protein and the nature of DNA is negative due to phosphoric acid that's why it is wrapped around the histone proteins now the mostly four type of histone protein are there in the wrapping of DNA especially H2A H2B H three and H four. These four protein are mainly used in the wrapping of DNA. Not single single but two of S two A, two of S two B, two of S three and two of H four. So this two 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 it means eight. This eight is made up of octamer. So that's why we call histone octamer. Sometimes the nucleosome. is also called V8 because of the octameric structure and sometimes also known as new bodies so if we drew a structure here this is H2A H to B, H3 and H4. Behind this, the four, this type of protein also there. 
so here H2A H2B S3 and H4 this octamer is taken DNA so DNA is wrapped like this So, the DNA which take a part in the wrapping is called core DNA. And the DNA between two nucleosome, it is called linker DNA, which link two nucleosome. This is the structure of nucleosome. So, we, if we show this, this is the simply a eight ball structure. So, if it gets tight then it's possible to lose the structure because the superbolling is there also it is not so big it may form a solenoid and there comes on so the upper clamp is must be required so here one clamp is also there h1 h1 histone one protein is worked as a clamp to tightening the nucleosome but if we talk about simple nucleosome we can't add a H1, so that's why we call an octamer. In real, this is the nine member nucleosome, but we simply call octamer. So, in DNA, it's talked that DNA is wrapped 1.75 or one and third and fourth turn around the nucleosome or histone protein. So here one and this is the second. Here the new nucleosome is also there. Like that. Here also. So it is get back. So Woodhoff, we previously talked, his straw is so a structure on a chromatin was a really a nucleosome. Like this. The DNA is back like that so in core DNA is made up of 146 amino acids kilobase pair so 146 kilobase pair and the linker DNA is made up of 60 kilobase pairs so this is the DNA packaging if you want to learn anything from me you can comment below the comment section and stay connected with Ravis microbiology thank you